All right, my friends, I proudly present to you the Itehil, Itehil water filter, water purifying system, Electro. Here's the charger for the USB cable. Comes with a lot of hoses, a blue one, a white one. And here's the filter which you put inside the water. You open this up and then you screw the filter system inside. Then you have it here. And this stuff, this rattlesnake goes inside the water. Here you have a blue one and a white one. The white one is for the drinking water and the blue one is for washing the water which you need to wash the dishes also. You put the hose, the hose, put it inside here. Tuck, white one inside here. And then you have to push the filter inside the water and when it's in the water, you put on. Three, sec three seconds on on and it turns off on and it needs 35 minutes to clean it everything inside the filter and then you're able to drink the water here here I have the two filters hybrid this is for the water softener and stuff and here you have the RO filter, which means reverse osmosis, which cleans the water. You put it inside, put pressure on, and then screw it. You put it in, pressure, screw it, and it's, it fits. Close, and ready to go. All right, this lake water is not drinkable, so I open it up with the cold steel X. To get the hole in. Yeah. All right. Now we have a hole. This is the filter system you put inside. And you turn it on. Three seconds here. And it's working. You see, run is green. It's very quiet. Alright, this Itehil water filter was sent to me for free from China. It costs around 300 to 400 US dollar, which is pretty expensive. But you get a nice bag where you can put all the other stuff inside. This, if you don't have the power, you can get the filters out with this plastic. And this is the charger. You put it in, in the filter and this one in another sticker and then it's working. So. I hope it lasts more than 30-40 minutes because I don't have a solar panel or other equipment to charge the filter. Yeah, it took about two hours to get full charged. I don't know what's going on with these houses, but... Hey, you see now I have a malfunction. The pressure put the filter out. So put it back in. Ah, okay, I'll turn it off. Okay, off. You put this in and then pressure. Yeah. Now it should fit. Three seconds on. Okay. Oh, it's leaking. It's leaking here. Okay. But now we have water. The waste water is coming out and the drinking not. Waste is floating. But it's something with the hose. Drinking water is coming as well, which is cool. Okay, let's keep it a few minutes and then I try it, I taste it. Now it's working properly, you really have to push it down and then twist it. Push and twist really hard. And maybe you need the plastic stuff to get it, to fix it even better. And here you can uh, carry it. It's not too heavy, but 
As you can see, to carry it around in a rucksack, it's not suitable. Maybe if you have a car somewhere at the lake, you can use it. But for rocking, I wouldn't take this. And it's working now. Here are the buttons. Now it's running green. Charge is red when you charge it, of course. Here's the charger, the USB. You put it in here. Here is RO, reverse osmosis. When this is up, then you have to change the filter. Same here as the hybrid. These are the warning lights. And it's working. This is how it flushes it. That's okay. Also here. It's not too bad. Alright, it's running now about uh, 10 minutes and I'm not prepared uh, about anything. I didn't read any manual. I just was thinking what I'm doing is correct. Here are some notes you can read on the machine which says everything what you need to know. And I don't have a plastic or anything, but I'm gonna taste the water now. How it tastes. Yeah, it tastes good. Like water. I think it's totally clean. You can see here, maybe there's no, no stuff inside. It's completely clean. It's good. It's working. Nice. All right, it was running now about 20 minutes, which is cool. Now, turn it off. One click here, it's off. We got the filter. Here we have the hoses, this here. Here you have to push really hard and you're damaging a little bit the plastic here, but I think that's fine. But if you do this a lot here, here are the two hoses, maybe you can damage the, the entry hose of the plastic. So it, you need a lot of force to get it out, but it's working. Here you can close it and open it with this. You get it out. Put, ah, you can put, ah, it's better. You can push it down and twist it. That's easy. That's nice. So this is very functional. You put it in like this, push it and then screw it. Yeah, that's cool. This was the first water filter I tested. I mean, 300 US dollar or 400 US dollar is very expensive for this. I wouldn't buy it, but can I recommend it? I mean, it's working now at the testing. I don't think you need this stuff, but if you want it, it works. It can filter the, the water. Reverse osmosis is always good, so in a survival situation uh, you will not have this with you, of course. But when you are camping somewhere and you are not sure about the water and you are into stuff like this, maybe it works for you. As I said, for me not. What are you doing when these are not working anymore? You need to buy new ones, so the costs go up and up and up. Uh, the, the filter system here, I think uh, this should be improved with something. But because here it's very, it's about one uh, meter, 50 centimeters deep. And when you have it down in the swamp at the bottom of the lake, it's gonna get completely dirty. And then maybe the filter will be damaged. So you would need something here where it floats in the water. Because when you throw it in like this, it sinks like a stone. I'll show you now what I mean. All the way in. Now it's for sure at the bottom. Yeah. This is when this is on the bottom, you just have this here. And maybe this is a problem, maybe not. You can hear, see, see here some dirt. Because it's not floating. It's going like a stone down. And that's uh, not good. You need something here to protect it. That it maybe floats in the water like this. Because this I think is a, a disadvantage. And you shouldn't use it in salt water. This is just for fresh water, not salt. This is made in China. I mean the main company is in the US. But I got this from China. It's made in China. So my friends, now I'm gonna test it with coffee and we will see what's going to happen. Black coffee, it's hot, still hot. Filter inside, turn it on. It's working. Yep. You can see black coffee. This is the water from the 
Front. It's coming. Out. He's still black. And here it's white. Check it out. Yeah, that's crystal clear. This is the water you should use for washing. I wouldn't use this one. This is like, uh, looks like shit. Probably tastes like shit. And, and here the water is crystal clear. Now I taste it. Yeah, you have a little bit taste of the coffee inside. You taste this a little bit. Yeah. A little bit taste of the coffee is inside, but this is completely white, it's completely crystal clear, which is awesome. And this is the rest of the coffee. Yeah, it tastes like uh, slightly coffee, but everything, it tastes like coffee, it looks like coffee. And I wouldn't use this for washing anything, but I think we can agree that this water is cool. So this was a job well done, I would say. All right. This coffee was hot, completely hot. And it was still working, and here at the filter the water was cold. And this is how those stuff looks like. So I wouldn't trust this with washing anything, but totally recommendable for doing some drinking water. This works quite good. The only thing which concerns me are these hoses, because check it out. You need too much force to get them out. And then the hoses are a little bit damaged. So again, I don't know how long this these hoses will be usable. That's the only only disadvantage I see with this product filter. Here you see the coffee. Here you can see the brown coffee inside. It's working. Thanks for sending me this stuff and I think that's it. I'm not gonna shoot it or so because I will use it uh, maybe in the future. Nothing more to say, my friends. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the boring video. See ya.